We continue to follow a death investigation out of St. John's County. A private citizen who was looking into the 2010 shooting death of a St. John's County woman was found dead from a gunshot wound yesterday. So tonight we have team coverage for you. Julia Dreyer is digging deeper into the Michelle O'Connell case. But first tonight we begin with our Jessica Clark who is live in St. John's County with the latest. Jess. Well, good evening. What is a mystery remains a mystery today. And we're talking about, as you mentioned, this death of a person uh, who was found in World Golf Village in a condo on the third floor. So what we were expecting today was a four o'clock press conference with the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, which is the entity investigating this case. But about 45 minutes before the invest before the press conference took place, it was canceled. We were hoping to find out more information, such as the name of the person who was found dead yesterday. But we were told, according to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, because the medical examiner could not determine a positive ID on the person, the press conference was canceled. So I spoke a little bit more with the Putnam County Sheriff's Office to get a, a better understanding for all of us what's going on here. And according to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, they were the medical examiner not able to determine a positive ID because this person has identified as a man and as a woman. And so basically that's the hang up here. The medical examiner's office has confirmed with me that there was a gunshot to the head. That's new information today. We knew that there was a gunshot. We did not know where until today. Now also we've learned from the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, the person had been shot within 12 hours of the 911 call being made. Well, the 911 call was made in the early hours yesterday, somewhere around 7 o'clock, 730. And so the shooting, we're told by the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, happened within 12 hours of that. Also, we're learning more information about what could be involved in the identification, possibly fingerprints and possibly dental records to have a positive ID on this person. Uh, now, we can't go without mentioning, of course, the connection to the Michelle O'Connell case, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office telling me today, quote, this person had a distinct interest in that case, requesting and gaining records about that case in August from the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. One other note I'd like to point out, other people who have investigated the Michelle O'Connell case on their own spoke to me today, did not want to go on camera, but have told me this case yesterday, this person's death, has made them scared for their lives as well as their families are scared. And so we'll continue to follow this and hope for an update about who this person was who was found dead yesterday in World Golf Village. We're live in St. John's County. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side. So many questions unanswered tonight. Jess, thank you so much. Now to fully understand why the St. John's County Sheriff's Office requested Putnam County investigate uh, this death yesterday, it's really helpful to understand the background of the Michelle O'Connell case. Uh, the victim who died yesterday was investigating that case. So O'Connell's death in 2010 captured national attention after First Coast News broke the story of a complicated case and a troubled investigation. O'Connell's family believed her death was not a suicide, but a murder at the hands of her deputy boyfriend. He's never been charged. He's always insisted he had nothing to do with her death. Juliet Dreyer's on your side. She joins us now with a look back at the Michelle O'Connell case. Juliet. Michelle O'Connell died on September 2nd, 2010. Her death ruled a suicide, but her family has always doubted that, and their skepticism was bolstered by a Florida Department of Law Enforcement analyst who found her death, quote, consistent with homicide. Tonight, we're looking back at this story and the original reporting from First Coast News in 2012 that ignited national interest in this tragic case. Michelle O'Connell was just 24 years old, a daughter, a sister, and a mother to a four-year-old little girl. 24-year-old Michelle's devotion to her daughter is just one reason her family and friends insist she never would have killed herself. In 2012, First Coast News was contacted by O'Connell's family. They did not believe Michelle committed suicide, a view bolstered by an FDLE report that cast doubt on that narrative. Please get something to my eyes. Please, please, my girlfriend, I think she just shot herself. 
The frantic 911 call is from O'Connell's boyfriend, Jeremy Banks, a deputy with the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. There's blood coming out of everywhere, please. The bullet came from Banks' service weapon. O'Connell's death was ruled a suicide. But doubts abounded. Dr. Jerry Finley, a crime scene analyst hired by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to review the case, concluded that many elements of Michelle's death were suspicious. He also determined it was extremely unlikely that right-handed Michelle would use her weaker left hand to hold the gun. Even the St. Johns County Medical Examiner, who initially ruled the death a suicide, later admitted to First Coast News that he changed his mind. Well, I became convinced that it was probably a homicide. In the end, the state attorney's office and two other medical examiners who investigated the case agreed Michelle had taken her own life. Banks has always maintained his innocence. There is nothing in this young man's past to suggest he's even capable of this type of conduct. It is important to note that Jeremy Banks has never been charged with the crime and is still with the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office says he is not a suspect in yesterday's death in St. Johns County, adding that he was at training with the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office at the time. Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.